So where am I? I am in Paranagua, the literal, literal, the the seaside of Parana. So, uh, man, uh, I'm about to film the city and stuff, but before anything, I am in this very old house that I chose on Airbnb, and it has like 300 years and stuff. I came here because I like old history and stuff, but man. I feel like in my experiences uh, using Airbnb, this is not, this is the third one and I feel like this is the worst of all because man, I like old houses but the thing is, it can be old but it's kind of abandoned so the person doesn't take care of the place so you feel like it's dirty and stuff and you have a lot of flies I feel like this is my worst Airbnb experience so I'm about to show the place and then um, you might see what I'm talking about and uh, I changed the views of my land this is like a uh, super view angle I don't know if it's wrong if it's bad uh, the owner is here she's inside the room so I don't want to disturb her so this is the place Man, it's like a very old house. I understand the fact that it's old. Uh, I'm uploading some videos, but I'm about to show you uh, how this place looks like. And the problem is that the problem is that is not that it's old. The problem is that it's quite off abandoned, you know. And have this. Look at this, man. You have this room, not room. Oh, the light is like. I never saw a lamp so old like this. So you have like this bathtub, bathroom, and it looks like this. You know, the problem is that it's abandoned. And the owner is totally like, she don't care. Uh, you know, she don't take care of it. This is the backyard and this is how it looks. Uh, man, I, I think I saw a lizard. Yes, it's right there. I don't know if you can see. So this is how it looks like. It's, it's uh, kind of uh, abandoned. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't like it. The price is kind of good. I like it, but... oh insects the problem is that it's kind of uh, abandoned you have fruits here I don't know which fruit is this so you have a place to make barbecue and this is how this place looks I don't know uh, which fruit is this oh it's the guava we, we have like uh, the entire state, maybe the entire Brazil, it's full of this. It's like everywhere you go, you have it. And I like this one. I prefer the red one. Uh, this is the, the white one. So this is how the place looks like. Man, the problem is that my room, for example, you had like yesterday it rained, so you had like water coming from the ceiling and you have a lot of flies. Not flies, those things that bite you and then suck your blood. I don't know the name. Mosquito? and uh, it's pretty hot to just have a fan and uh, it's dirty my floor is dirty i will show you and then uh if you want to use the washer you have to pay for it and stuff oh man uh, i was thinking about talk to her like man this, this is wrong you can't do this but I'm, I'm i'm just like i'm just going to stay here for two days and i'm like i'm living and whatever i'm just not coming back and i don't recommend it uh, I'm so sorry that this is a this should be a historical uh, entertaining place to stay. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Let's go inside. Uh, I'll be just whispering because I don't want to disturb. So this is how it looks like inside. This is where we are, the city. And you have tomorrow I'm going here to this island so we have a lot of paintings and 
she was telling me that it's a family of teachers that lived here. You have this, you have the doggies. So man, this is my room and it smells like 500 years old or something and it has like this very old wardrobe and you know the things are coming down and I have this thing, it's very hot and man it's dirty look at this you have all of these things in the floor and i was even feeling bad about sleeping here uh i don't mind about staying in uh, poor conditions places but the thing is it's not about being poor it's about being clean and it's not clean and look at the fan this is probably uh dog's hair or something and if you go you look here like it's all men. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I'm about to leave uh, tomorrow. Uh, to be honest, if I could, I would leave now. But I pay for it. I'm gonna stay here and experience the, the thing. Uh, I'm going outside and I'll record a city. But this is it experiences. Whew. I'll better research more before I, I choose a place to stay. This is, of course. But yeah, I'm going to finish here and I'm going to come back from the street. What a place. I'm sorry for this, everyone that is here around. It's not your fault. So you have a cockroach uh, wing right here. So let's go. Let's see what we can find in this city. I mean, it's pretty hot. So this is how the city looks like. Let's take a walk. And see what we can find here. Uh, to be honest, I walked here yesterday and you don't have much stuff to do. Oh, man. And you don't have much stuff to do. And this is where I am. Uh, the Airbnb stuff. So this is how the city looks like, it's a very old city uh, This church is like very old So this is the house that I am located This one, this thing man <laughs> uh, Yeah So this church, we will visit this church We have a lot of old buildings just like the other cities And this church, it's like a very old one They say that it was built by the slaves And this is where the where the priests were built, not built. Uh, the graveyard. I think this is the oldest one. The ang angels looks kind of angry. They like don't come here. I just saw women there, but I'm not seeing her anymore. So you have the street. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's a woman selling popcorn. Oh, the woman, the woman is right there praying. 
Um, this is like a very old church. Uh, it was built around 1753 uh, or something. And uh, yesterday, a woman uh, that lived in the street, she was telling me, a very uh, funny woman, she was telling me that it was built by the slaves and then uh, it's very old and we have someone else there and it's a very old uh, church oh my back hurts hmm? no no don't be filming uh -huh. <laughs> So people here, they are kind of uh, nice. My hair is falling down. Oh man, I'm having like a great problem with my hair. So this is the vision of the city. In the end, Lá no final, uma Isso, branca? Aquela dos escravos, aqui que era do ah. pessoal do mais rico, né? E os escravos. E se você quer vir aqui, ó, virar aqui, é, sair daqui, subir essa, vou, vou falar aqui, ó, virar à esquerda aqui, ah. tem um que vai passar frente do museu, você vai continuar andando reto, uma caminhada um pouquinho longa assim, sabe? Vai dar umas três quadras. Ah. Você vai chegar até a São Francisco da Chaves. Ali vale a pena porque ela é mais antiga daqui. Ah, é uma igreja? É uma igreja. Bem legal mesmo. Ah. Como que é? Vem aqui. Esse aqui, ó. Esse aqui, ó. Pega essa porta aqui, ó. Tá ah. azul, branca azul, né? Ah, sei, sei. Desce. Desce. Aqui, isso. Você vai virar, se não me engano, na segunda esquerda. Você vai passar na frente do, do museu aqui. Ah. ah, sei, sei. O museu eu fui ontem. Isso. Da UFPR, né? Isso mesmo. Ah. Aí você continua indo reto naquela rua, vai indo reto. Ah. É, vai toda vida reto. Né? Vai continuando, acho que tem umas três, quatro quadras. Uh -huh. Aí você vai acabar, você vai passar por uma praça, que era onde o pessoal batia nos carros. Ah. E aí você continua indo reto, aí você vai ficar com a nessa onda. Veja o que eu te falei. Ah, vou ir lá então. Tá bom? Tá, obrigado, tá? Isso, tudo bem, obrigado. So the man here, he gave me some directions to go to some uh, nice places here. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going there. Let me do something with my hair first, man. I'm having the problem with my hair. So I'll be back. Sure. It's very hot. Again, the name of the, I don't know the, is the name of the stone, but we call it Paralelepipedo. So this is another, uh, it's selling, it's selling this property. This is like a very, very, very old uh, building. I don't know, uh, what is this? What it was before, but it's very, very old. is abandoned I think you have another uh, here, here in Paraná they love the date of 15 November because you have every city that you go have the street with its name oh it's because it's the look at this man this is so old and this is like the institute the historical geographic institute of Paranaguá that is abandoned too. If you look inside this uh, man, this dog is very sad. And his own is, is leaving him. I think it's closed, I don't know. So on uh, 15 November it's the Republic's proclamation here in Brazil. I don't know if, if I, I am speaking the right word so here you have the the school that now is a museum where the priests used to give lessons to the natives here and we're going there yesterday i've been there i took some pictures and today we're going to film uh, we have like nice people there i don't know if they will allow us to film but i will try my best and i have this another very old building man look at this one this one is very old 
Let's go there. Man, this thing. I would love to go inside it and explore. Look at this thing, man. I keep wondering uh, what kind of stuff happened here. And this is my thing. Look at this. You have a lot of other uh, old buildings here. You have like that house. Let's go to the museum. And everywhere you go is this, this thing. Uh, not everywhere. Uh, Paranaguay is very big. Yesterday I had a walk here and it's a very big city. Not very big, but... Uh, so you have like asphalt in the rest of the city, but here you have like mostly like this. So this is the place. Uh, I'll have to put my mask and I'll be back from the museum. So the man, she told me to explore. There's another church here that... Uh, one of the oldest ones so we went there man the streets here they're all like this and then uh yesterday i was running here and you need to be like a pro because if you're running a place like this you can fall easily it's not easy the streets they're all like this not all of them but we are in the historical center so the streets are all like, like this and you need to be a pro because you can fall easily Yesterday I run here. Like my plan is to spend two days in the city and then the first day I run and then on the second day I explore. But this is the whole old not old, the old uh, historical center. We're going to visit that church and then we're going to come back. He told me that there's a place here where they used to punish the slaves and stuff. So we're going there. But first, we're going to see uh, this church. This is how the the streets look like. Looks like, and have very old uh, houses. So we're going there to film this church. It's a very nice day. Oh, this one is like a very old church. And it's open, uh, and I already told the story uh, before I arrived there. Uh, here in Brazil, we have like a uh, uh, a saint, saint called uh, São Benedito, and that in his black, and uh, he, at the time of uh, the slaves and stuff, he was the saint that protected the slaves or something like this. So this church, uh, it was made for him. We have very old houses built in stone. So this church was built for him. And then uh, I think it was built by the slaves too. And it's like a very old church. Let's cross here. Look at this, man. I love these old buildings. And it's so beautiful. I think it's empty and I was looking I, I like to look at this it's so uh, unique so it's empty there's nobody here you can put your name here uh, when you visit it you can put the candles uh. so this is the San Benedito he's like black and he protects uh, uh, the black, the black people in Brazil. Uh, at that time, like 500 years ago, uh, he protected the slaves and stuff. So this is the history of the church. <laughs> Basically. have like this big old stones so it was built in uh, 1784 this is where we are so this stone uh, let me try to so 
I think this thing it, it was like a, a grave or someone and uh, someone important at that time and they, they leave it here and I love this old things man and they have like some things graved uh, I don't know what would have happened so this is the church uh, it's like the Bahoko style and you have like this white and blue man you have so many uh, white and blue churches here um, if you know why the meaning of this color you can explain to me I would love to understand better and you have this very old like look at this man I can explain how much I love uh, old things and you can climb up but I don't know uh, where the stairs is so this is uh, São Benedito this is the saint and this is Jesus Christ so it's empty man it's just us here and I'm with all respect look at this, this thing is so old it has like, this probably the original one and it has like uh, it's from 1784 wow And this is San, uh, San Benedito the Saint. Uh, what I love about old places is, this, is the fact that I keep wondering uh, what kind of stuff these walls saw, you know, what they could uh, presence. And uh, I am, um, yes, I am that kind of person that I keep touching things and then, yeah. So uh, we're going to the going back to the place that the women that the men uh, advise us to go and then I'll be back uh, there there is a very interesting museum here that now it belongs to the Federal University of Paraná we're going there it, it, it was a old school that the priests used to use to try to teach uh, Portuguese and uh, Catholicism Catholic schism to the native that live here. It's a very unique uh, experience when we're going there. So, uh, yeah, this church is very amazing. Uh, I don't feel I'm, I'm going to film this city. You don't have much stuff to see. But people here, they told me that it's quite uh, dangerous, especially if you're women and if you're alone and at night. So, you know, you better take care. So, we're going there. I don't think I'm going to feel the city that's run. And have these very old houses, man. This city is old, like just all the others that we were visiting. But the problem is that it's kind of uh, abandoned, just like the house that I am uh, in the Airbnb. This is the kind of problem. Look at this building, it's made of pure stone, probably it's here for, I don't know, 500 years or something. People here, they don't give a shit if you're filming or not. <laughs> I'm loving it, it's, it's wonderful. I don't know why uh, the stores is all closed. Look at this, this is very old. Oh man, I almost failed. <laughs> Be careful, you need to look where you walk. So I have these very old houses. Look. Man. And it has kind of a weird smell. I'm not judging the city, but uh, Paranagua is kind of... Man, you have a lot of this brechó. Brechó in Brazil means uh, used store for clothes. And you have so many of them. Should, should we go inside? No, because there are songs playing. But if I find one that is, you don't have songs, maybe I will film. Oh, it's a gem. Because you have so many reused stores here for clothes, I don't know why. 
I think the stores are closed because it's like lunch time and if you live in like a smaller city they close at lunch but this is not small this is like a big city I don't I don't understand and here you have a place to eat I think I'm going to eat here uh, now later I'm not hungry now It looks nice. I'll be back here later. Man, it's very hot. You have this. Uh, we have a lot of homelessness uh, here uh, in the entire Paraná, but I feel like it's the entire Brazil. The COVID thing, but like uh, it increased the the amount of homelessness. Uh, not just here, but in the entire world, to be honest. So uh, you feel like you have a lot of them. Man, I need to buy sunglasses. I lost my black one and I miss them uh, so much. So this is another very old building. This in the corner. So yeah, I'll be back from the, the next spot here in Paranagua. Man, I need my sunglasses like ASAP. You can see. So we're going down here. We have another place to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm about to eat later. But the thing here in Brazil is that if you want to eat food, like real food, like rice and stuff, you have uh, the certain amount of time to do this because you have food just until like 2 o'clock, 2 uh, a.m., p.m., and then uh, it's closed. You don't have any more. So this is the problem. So this is like a library. Man, it's abandoned. The the government like I don't know. It's not abandoned, but it's kind of. Uh, yeah. And this is the kind of street that you have in the entire city. Uh, here we call it. Are you ready for it? We call it Paralelepipedo. Uh, I want you to try to speak this word three times. So I have no words. You have another reuse.